And dingoes are also very, very supple, much more so than a dog. Um, Kylie may be able to show you what he can do. Dingo can look look straight ahead, but if he's... Good boy, is he? Oh, you should maybe face the other way, so he looks over. Yeah, dingoes can actually look over the back of their head and see you all. Now, don't pull your dog's head off when you go home, but you can try it. So he's incre they're incredibly flexible. And, and they, they, they will lay there and you're sure they've got a broken neck, you know. <laughs> but that's just the way they are. The widest part of the dingo is right here in front of the ears. That's the widest part of his whole front. See how narrow his chest is? So wherever this fits, the whole rest of the dingo can go. Now, every, every one of our dogs is generally wider here than the head. And that's one of the major differences between this species and a domestic dog. <laughs> and I'll be about them because I am an all-breed dog judge. And I do judge all over the world and probably had a million dogs under my hands. So that's, that's really how I'm able to pick up so many marvellous <coughs> things about this species here. Um, what are we going to do? We're going to show how, how he can also... No tricks yet. <laughs> Kylie trains him, so he thinks it's trick time. Except, well, she's got the goodies. So dingoes have an amazing flexibility of their limbs and they can actually rotate the joints out sideways, which you simply can't do with a, with a dog. Also, a dingo can put his paw through a fence, not that one, a little bit wide, and pick up an egg and turn the wrist right around and get that egg in without breaking it. So that they are, they they have this amazing laxity of their joints, which is all all good. Dingo's tail very special.